The Bannock County Sheriff's Office received a complaint from a resident of a man, as seen here, entering property and removing Trump 2020 signs. I started with seven signs total, and I'm down to three. Woods, who owns the property, also said this isn't the first time it's happened. So far, they've taken four signs on three different occasions. This is the third incident in a week and a half. The retired veteran added he's had to reinforce the signs every time with objects like fishing line, stakes, and hooks. On Friday evenings, the first batch got stolen. Saturday evening, I caught and chased off people trying to steal them. From what Kelly told me, the person who invaded his property came around 1 a.m. from this direction. But the one thing the person didn't catch were the cameras that caught everything in motion. My initial thoughts when I seen the sign gone is you're disappointed, of course, because you hope that people have respect for your own views. Woods did keep in mind that something like this could happen. In fact, he suspected it to. When I originally bought them the signs and put them up, I suspected that they would be taken. But the Pocatello resident says just because his views might be different to what another believes, it doesn't give a person the right to invade someone's property. We can have differing views. But to disrespect someone else's property, to destroy it, stuff like that, you don't have a right to do that. In Pocatello, I'm Julian Paras, KPVI News that works for you.